Hey Colts, in this video we're going to learn how to check websites for credibility. We're going to start with some basic questions. Who is the source? So that's the author and it could be a person or an organization but you really want to make sure it's an expert within that topic. What info are you getting? Does it match other sources? Does it make sense? And if there are lots of mistakes on the website it most likely is not credible. When was the info published? It could be an excellent source and highly credible, but if it was written a long time ago, you need to consider if it's relevant today. And you also need to check the links to make sure they all work. Where is the info from? If it has one of these in the website address, then it's from a government website or it's from a educational institution or an organization. So those tend to be credible. Why are you here? Is it a good fit? So you want to make sure that your assignment and your sources match. If you have a lot of credible sources but they don't help you with your assignment, they're not going to be useful. At Bill Crothers, we have a credibility check. Your teacher might ask you to do one of these and if they do, then you want to get one from the library or get it from your teacher or print one up from the library Google site. What you do is you go through each of these questions and you answer yes or no. And for each yes, you give one point. If the source has nine yeses or above, then it's most likely credible. But if it's eight or less, you probably should find other sources. So let's go through an example. Just imagine we have an assignment about nutrition for athletes. So I found the source called Teens Health and it looks at a guide to eating for sports. So the first question is, who is the source? So is the source an expert? And I'm going to look at it and click on it, and I have the author here. It's actually reviewed by this person. And I've been looking at it. She's got a doctor's degree, and she's gone to many universities, and she works at a hospital. So yes, it's, she's pretty credible. So that's a good yes on those. What information are you getting? Does it look like there's lots of errors? I'm reading through it and no, it doesn't look like there are lots of errors and there I actually don't even see any grammatical errors there or spelling errors. And do the facts sound like they're logical? Does it match other sources? So just kind of going through it there, I can see that yeah, it does actually sound pretty accurate. So that's a yes. And when was the information published? I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down. I can't seem to find the date. Sometimes it's not listed, but sometimes it's listed at the beginning and sometimes it's at the end. So this was reviewed in 2014. So that's you know, quite a while ago. I, I think there's probably more current information out there now and, and we know that the food guide has changed recently. So I'm going to say a no for that section. Where is the information from? So this website is actually kidshealth.org, which is one of those endings we said to look for. So that's a yes for there. And why are we here? Now we know the assignment was about uh, food and nutrition for athletes, and this is a guide to eating for sports. And so really it talks about athletes, it talks about diets, it talks about variety, it talks about muscle, um, minerals and vitamins and protein. So yes, this would be a good match. So if I added up all of my points under my credibility check, I would definitely get probably an excellent some somewhere in between the 13 to 16 range, which would be a good source to use for an assignment. So that is a quick example of how to do a credibility check on a website. Thanks for watching and remember no cult walks alone.